a dying patient won't buy your dream life, but they would probably buy a cure that will help them live, that will make their suffering easier. So today we're going to talk about buying psychology, how people make a buying decision. If you're new to me, my name is Eugene Berezin. I am a clinical psychologist and one of my uh, favorite studies is actually study how people make a buying decision. So when it comes to making a buying decision, there are two mindsets that drive people to a buying decision. It's either expansion opportunity mindset, abundance mindset, and they normally buy from this mindset when there's a fear of missing out, when they see there's a lot of opportunity, there's a lot of money to be made, there's a lot of growth, and if they're not taking actions right now, they will lose. Another mindset that people make a buying decision from is scarcity and fear mindset. Yes, people make a buying decision out of fear as well. So what I see in 2024, and by the way, this episode is recorded uh, in October 2024, but this episode is actually timeless because we're going to drop into buying psychology and how you should pivot your messaging right now to make more sales. So uh, in 2024, um, what we're seeing on the market right now. Actually, I would like to pause here and ask you, where is your buyer? Let me know in the comments, where is your buyer right now? Also, like, examine yourself. Are you in the in fear mindset or are you in expansion mindset? Because, listen, buying cycles are larger right now, and there are economic changes going on. There, It is an election year. So, where are your buyers right now? Are they in expansion mindset, or are they in fear and scarcity mindset? And that it is a crucial question. So, if you're not making sales right now, go to the drawing board and do your market research and really have conversations with people. And your uh, your assignment is to actually find out where people are at. Either either like either thriving person who would like to buy supplements, who would like to buy, you know, theoretically speaking, of course, figuratively speaking, that will buy uh, to make their business, their career, their life larger, bigger, and greater, or either in fear mindset where they would like to keep what they have and not necessarily make another million, not necessarily um, uh, land another job that will um, double their salary, but like at least have a job or whatever wh whatever you sell to keep what they have right now. So I would like to pause right here. So if you're seeing the slowdown in sales right now, I also want you to pause and take assessment. I created business assessment that will give you actionable steps. What is not working in your business? It is completely free. It is completely complimentary. So the link is in the description for this video and um, also in the comments as well. So go check it out. Go check out the description for the video and grab your complimentary assessment. So let's go. So now let's talk about abundance mindset and uh, fear mindset. And uh, like, what is your, like, what is your tactic for each mindset for abundance and expansion mindset? And it's important to talk about to that fear of missing out. And what is like, what is the common denominator between fear mindset and abundance mindset? Uh, people buy out of discomfort. Yes, people might buy emotionally, people might buy because they're excited, because they are like they're joyous. But underneath that feeling, that emotion, it's fear, it's either fear of missing out because there is a lot of opportunities. They believe in themselves, they believe in expansion, they see their future. They're like they want that, right? Like they don't want to miss out on that. FOMO, fear of missing out, or um, and they are uh, afraid that they will lose what they have. So when they're in the expansion mindset, 
and it's important to to cast that vision and that ca that vision goes to fomo fear of missing out and fear of missing out is applicable for both mindsets by the way for um, expansion and fear mindset but when we talk about expansion mindset we cast we we sell them dream life in a way right we sell them dream life it is perfectly healthy person perfectly healthy patient and they come to us because like theoretically of course they come to us because they want to be healthier wealthier they they want expansion and this is like this is what we communicate uh to that customer when it comes to the fear mindset and survival mindset it's a totally different message still fear of missing out when is the fear of missing out there? The FOMO there is that they can actually lose their career in this economic climate, that they can actually lose like whatever you sell, family, job, business, like there you provide that you you articulate the cost of inaction, what they're going to lose and what they're going to miss out on. So and instead of selling them expansion selling like it's a dying patient it's a dying patient and you need to sell your solution needs to be the cure that will help them live that will cure them or that will make their suffering a little bit easier like hopefully you know theoretically speaking figuratively speaking that your solution will help them live and really either keep their career keep their business keep their family um uh, keep their uh, skill set like what again whatever you like whatever you sell whatever your solution is but when your buyer is in the fear mindset they need clear message hey if you work with me first of all it is safe second of all you will have you will keep what you have you work for this so hard and you can't lose it now you can't lose it in 2024 so uh, this is two different uh, marketing messaging and two different marketing methodology. So my first coaching offer was career coaching offer. And it was right when the tech started to crumble, when there were a lot of layoffs. And my first customers, my first clients, all of them were software engineers, iOS developers. And why they bought they bought not because they wanted to expand there are very few people who bought because they wanted to expand maybe one or two they what they had that expansion mindset but the rest of people bought because they were laid off they didn't want to lose their career and it was very very tangible fear for them and they want to get back to work as soon as possible they 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 didn't want to continue to lose their income and they didn't want to continue to like really be in that situation for many of them i want to warn you so if you're a buyer is in fear mindset that fear for a lot of my prospects it was a stopping force for them to sign up and work with me further it was a stopping force to say yes to the best yes to themselves and i understand financial repercussions and not everybody can afford career coaching but again when people in expansion in opportunity mindset they make decisions more quicker but when they're in fear mindset in scarcity mindset it's a little bit different marketing so 2024 and whatever if you're listening this to this episode and the economy is expanding there's expansion mindset so rewind and and focus on like for expansion expansion is fear of missing out of your success um the fear-based mindset is the fear of losing what you already have so um if your if your customer right now is in the fear state they don't want to lose their business they don't want to lose what they have they want to keep what they have they want to maintain what they have your message should be appropriate your message should be according to that your messaging that you were using in 2020 2021 2022 even in 2023 is not working anymore because it's no longer a lot of people a lot of businesses a lot of people are not in expansion mindset there there's a lot of scarcity and there's a lot of 
fear of like economic changes. Also, we are like right in the middle of election year, big election. When there is election year, sales drop. It sucks. It sucks for me. It sucks for other businesses. But keep that in mind and wrap your messaging around that. So I hope it helps. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next video.